you have the Revel, this is the 6X5G. Make sure we're talking about the same phone, has the triangle cameras in the back. You've had it for a while, and you're wondering if you can make it run faster. The answer is yes. So we're going to go into the what's called the development developer options, which is going to feel a little bit complex because it's going inside the software of the device itself. As long as you follow directions, you should be fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn them on on this phone. This is a Samsung Galaxy S10e. Then we're going to compare them side by side so you can see that it's actually it actually runs faster. And then if you stick around, I'll show you how to turn them off if you don't like how your phone runs. And with that said, let's get started. So what we want to do is we want the phone on. We want to get into uh, settings. Most people like to scroll. Nope. Scroll up. There we go. Touch settings. I was changing my display on this. All right. Inside settings. Let's go to about phone. Touch about phone one time. Inside about phone, we're going to go all the way down and we're going to look for this build number. Even though there's nothing here, we're going to touch it. One, two, three, four steps away from being a developer. Four, five, six. It's seven times. You are now a developer. Now, if that message doesn't come up, you haven't touched enough times, or you already have turned the developer options on. So let's go back one. Now, inside system, touch system. Now that shows up as developer options. Now touch developer options. By default, it'll be powered on. So here's a warning. I'm going to turn it off and then turn it back on. And it says these settings are intended for development use only. They can cause your device and the applications on it to break or misbehave. Press OK. That just means if you accidentally touch something while we're scrolling down and we have to scroll a long ways down, just either back out or press cancel. All right, with that said, let's move on. So see how that says debugging there in that heading? We're looking for the heading that says drawing. That says networking. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. We should have input, and then right after input is drawing. Inside drawing, we're going to look for these three settings, Windows Animation Scale, Transition Animation Scale, and Animator Duration Scale. Take a picture with your mind. It says 1x, so if we have to set them back, we don't like how the phone runs after we make changes, the default is 1x. To change them, just touch it. Some people say try 0.5. It'll make your phone run faster. Definitely don't try bigger numbers because it'll make your phone run slower. I like to have them all the way off. So I'm going to touch off, transition animation scale, off, and last one, animator duration scale, off. And that is it. So I'm going to swipe up to go back to the home screen and now check this out. Watch with your own eyes. I'm just going to bring up the phone. Watch what happens when I bring up the phone. Boop. Did you see that? Now watch what happens when I close the phone. Ready again? Okay, and then when I go to close it, blinks off. This blinks off. This opens and closes like a slow flower into its icon. Let's do Messenger. Blinks on, ready to go. This one grows out. Now let's close them. Do you see that? Let's do one more camera. On and ready to go. All right. Camera. <laughs> All right, let me close out of the camera. Blinks off. This one closes down. Let's do phone one more time. Blinks on, ready to go. This one grows. So if you're someone who uses your phone a lot, takes a picture, sends a message, uploads a video, takes a phone call, and you're back and forth between your apps, this phone will feel, or your phone will feel, snappier, quicker, faster with these settings. So if you make those changes and you like how your phone works, leave a comment. Say that you did that. And we're done. So stick around now if you want to see how to undo the changes if you end up not liking how that runs. All right, let's get into settings. Touch settings. Oh, it left us at developer options. Let's, let's say that we went all the way back and it didn't put us into developer options. Let's, get all, let's start from scratch. My finger doesn't like... 
Am I touching the bar when I shouldn't be? There we go. Settings. Let's go to System. Let's go to Developer Options. Let's scroll all the way down. We're looking for that heading called Drawing. Networking right there. Input should be next. Input and now Drawing. Okay, and the three that we want to change, Windows Animation Scale, change it back to one. Transition Animation Scale, change it back to one. Animator Duration Scale, change that back to one. Now, if you're nervous that your phone might get touched or someone's going to mess with your phone, just turn the Developer Options off. Get out of Developer Options. And now inside system, they don't even show up anymore. That's it. That's how you make your T-Mobile Revel 6X5G run faster. Hey, if this has helped you, please like, please subscribe. Hey, thank you very much for watching.